Welcome to this week's Open Thread. On today's episode, uh, much like last week where I talked about videos we do, which is the uh, Grillins, I want to talk about another series we do and get more ideas from you guys. Triton Bite! Because yesterday, the roadie and I were out looking for some try it and buy it items and we hit all the, the good spots, right? You know, the, the Marshalls and the Rosses and that kind of stuff because they usually have like all awesome, awesome try and buy it items. We got what we got actually got to try and buy it in the mail the other day. That looks pretty awesome. It's another sort of bacon wave type of thing. Now, I'm not asking you to send us shit. I'm just, uh, just give us a link to where we can buy some stuff. Let us know. I know you guys got some, got some good items out there that you've seen, as seen on TV. And you know what? Uh, maybe some ones that aren't specifically for cooking, because we, we've been done a lot of cooking ones, but I would love to try some that aren't for cooking. What do you guys think? Let us know. Get in the comments down there. Let us know. Tell us what to do. I just want to know what to do. <laughs> I have no direction. <laughs> there she got it. She got it. She got the pig. Give me that pig. Give me that pig. Give me that pig. Give me that pig. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the Q&A portion of the video. Sugar Free Daddy wants to know what we think of the upcoming series Castle Rock. This is a new sort of Stephen King series. Okay, I was wondering if that was... Uh, I haven't heard a lot about it uh, oh. based out of Castle Rock, which is, you know, the town where a lot of shit in his books happens. Is it like a Netflix or Hulu or something? I don't know, maybe. I think, yeah, I think it is Hulu's next next one. So in that sense, maybe it's good. So it's like Hulu uh, in bed with Stephen King then? Because he did the uh, yeah. thing with James Franco. The... They must have some sort of deal going on. Huh. Uh, I don't know. I haven't heard enough <laughs> about it to be interested. Like, I'm ha sort of interested in the James Franco one. I have not read the book, but I have that book, 19, whatever. There's a lot of good stories set in Castle Rock, but I don't know how well any of them will translate to... Well, yeah, it wasn't like Needful Things. A visual medium, yeah. yeah. Like Tommy Knockers and <clears throat> all those sort of deals. Maybe good, maybe not. Under the Dome was dumb as shit, so... <laughs> yeah. I uh, could go anywhere. Yeah, I mean, depending on what channel it's on, I'll probably give it a try just to see. But, yeah, I didn't know it was a thing that existed, so... Yeah. Next question from Cisco Kid. He wants to know if we heard the new Gorillas track... Just came I out. have not, but not too long I'm kind of looking forward to the fact that they're putting out a new new album. So here you go. We have not listened to it. We're going to listen to it right now, and you guys can see our reactions. I don't know. I'm not sold. No, that's... I mean, generally the first song that comes out on the radio isn't really the best song on the album, so I'm still looking forward to hearing more, but that song, eh. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what the weird reggae shit's for there. But, uh, yeah, hey. Questionable advice with Senior Wero. From Zombie Logic 101 Senior Wero, I come to you with the most pressing issue of all time. Bong, joint, vaporizer, or pipe? For me, it would be pipe. I just, I'm a pipe guy, I guess. I guess it just depends on how harsh you want to get your throat. <laughs> the vape is probably the easiest way. But, uh, yeah. If you just got that much weed to smoke, I'd say do them all. I hope that advice helps you out in the future. Let's do some shout outs. <laughs> First shout out coming courtesy of Coder, who wants a shout out for his friend friend's cousin. His friend Sarah <clears throat> has a cousin that recently passed away. Oh. So, sorry to hear that. It's a real bummer. But we want, we wanted to, he wanted us to give toast to Sarah's cousin. I'm gonna pour one out for our dead homies? Yeah. Pour it Sweet. out. Down your gullet. Uh, he did not give us the name of Sarah's cousin, unfortunately, so. To Sarah's cousin. Salute. Next shout out going to Krusty Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> who dared me he was like I give me a shout out because I know you're gonna love my name and I I do love crusty pickles <laughs> fuck you your mind games <laughs> cheers <laughs> next shout out going to Trevor Hansen 
who wants a shout out for his counselor, Rob, who has apparently been going through some tough times recently, which sucks. Uh, man, there's a lot of downers here today. I know, I, I generally have fun <clears throat> doing shots, but I'm kind of like, eh. Cheers. Cheers, Rob. Man. Hope everything uh, turns out a little better for you. Yeah, Raj. And a final shout out going to another <laughs> redirected shout out. Joshua Edwards wants a shout out for Jess, who another person who's going through some tough times. Hey <laughs> Jess, hope uh, hope things get better for you. Shout out to you, Joshua Edwards. Says hi. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. That ends all of our shout outs today. Mm-hmm. But we do have one very important message. Today, the 23rd of April, in the year of our Lord, uh, <laughs> One about <sucre. laughs> 42 years ago, a person was born. That person's name, Warpig. I want everybody to wish Warpig a very special happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Warpig, look at your girth. Your massive girth. Tweet him a happy birthday. <clears throat> he is 53 years old today. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Warpig. Mm -hmm. uh, that wraps up today's episode. If you want shout outs, you know, questions answered, if you want some questionable advice, leave it in the comments down below. So far, I'm pretty good at the questionable aspect of it. Mm -hmm. uh, as always, this is Open Thread, so if you have anything else you want to talk about, go ahead and post it down there too. Sunday Fun Day! It's raining. Yeah. Fucking rain. It's not raining everywhere, though. If it's not oh. raining where you are, go out there, have some fun, do something important. I, I think I'm going to play Seven Days to Die. Hmm, what should you do? What should you do? You should learn how to whittle. That's what you got to do. Go do some whittling. Get back to me on how it goes. That's your project for this Sunday fun day. Just make sure you don't do your Sunday drinking first. That comes after the whittling. Or do it. Hey, your questionable advice column is over. Ah, damn no it! No more questionable <laughs> advice. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for watching. You're cute.